Welcome back to building in Fallout. We just wrapped up a small portion of the Ghosts of the Brotherhood, uh, getting into the base in Fort Defiance. So we are just outside of it, and we are heading into Watoga because what we want to do is we want to use the Brotherhood Emergency Transponder Signal. Transponder. Blech. I can't talk today. Um, and we are going to... Might want to as well eat and drink too while we're here. Cranberry Cobbler for a little bit of EXP gain. Um, I'll just go Purified Water. But the way that this uh, transponder works... Is eventually it will sh uh what the you can hear a small um hot and cold ping when it comes to the radio itself but while the transponder's on what what detects me frogs but while the transponder's on you can see up in the corner. It'll give you a signal strength to go with. Really? You just now? Oh, it's because that came in. Oh, another level. Nope, that was telling me the level that we just just had. Game's catching up to itself. But... When you get close enough to Watoga, there's a mission that will pop up. But what you're looking for for this first uh, Brotherhood outpost is it's on the road and you can see a few uh, ramparts that have been put up on the bridge. Be a few enemies about, nothing too serious just yet. But when you start getting into the heart of Watoga, you are going to be dealing with a lot of robots, and I mean a lot of robots. So that's when you want to put the energy weapon away because they have a resistance to that. But things of interest you can find. There are a few, you know, Brotherhood soldiers about. But here's some T60 kinetic servos. You saw that there's T60 armor in the last video. Now, normally you see me um, just take apart most mods that I find lying around, but that is one of the cases where that is actually going to end up in my shop. I don't do T60, but that is a really good mod for a T60, and someone might want to buy it. Now, what you're looking for is the transponder here. So if you hit square, it'll sync it up like it's supposed to and send you to the next transponder. But then you can press X and listen to the last transmission of the transponder. So now head to the next area. So as we head deeper into Watoga, there's already going to be some Protectrons and the like around, but beware these uh, spawn pods because they will just pop out of there. You'll hear it, it'll wind up first, but if you're next to one, not to mention there are super mutants about it, it would seem, there yeah, it goes. Now, eventually, after a certain mission is completed, you are considered the mayor of Watoga, and these things leave you alone because you're a civil servant. 
I'm I'm not kidding. It's just a welcome to Fallout. So we continue on. I'm just being stealthy because I don't want to be swarmed by robots. I'd rather take them out one by one. And right now with the setup I've got, I've got two ballistic options. And now the Gatling is actually a pretty decent sniper for a heavy gun, as it makes a liar out of me. But it's uh, slow fire rate means it also doesn't lose accuracy, so it's a decent mid-range, really. But with the right, uh, this is also a short barrel. With the right barrel, I've had this thing pretty much as, as a sniper. Then why are you using violence? Now that random mission that popped up here is the note that they need you to read. Ow. Hold still. So, for this next checkpoint, I'm pretty sure it's around the corner here. Because we're looking for a downed vertebrate. Yes, I know it's a machine gun, but I like accuracy. <laughs> Especially since, um, if you do it right on lower level enemies that drop ammo, you can just spawn 5mm this way, and then switch over to a minigun, and actually eat up the ammo that you spawn. Now, near this down vertebrate is a chance for a power armor spawn which we got lucky here but Watoga also has a whole bunch and I mean a whole bunch of power armor spawns and most of them high level so here we have T-51s and level 50 so if that's the suit that you dig this is a good space for farming but here is the transmission dish we are looking for, so sync it up, hit the other responder if you want. Now there are so many miscellaneous missions that pop up around here. Um, so don't get distracted at the moment. We want to head this way. Now feel free to uh, explore all of the um, fast travel locations around because there are a bunch of them clustered all throughout Watoga. So really no reason not to find them. Um, they're all worth a little bit of experience. Make sure that one of them that you find though is the train station. It is behind the high school. So I'm going to go a little bit out of my way to find it. I'm not seeing any bogeys, so I'm going to go ahead and sprint over here. Now, a popular spot for a lot of campsites is right here next to Watoga Station. The main reason being it's pretty level. Oh, see, somebody put up an emergency here. But it's pretty level. There's a couple of places for access to water. But there is one location in Watoga, if you're looking for a campsite, it's up here near the uh, Quarry X3. 
in the top of Watoga, somewhere in here, that has, I want to say, it's like copper and lead or steel and lead or something like that, but it's two resource spots. So it's something to look out for. Now, if you're wondering where I got all those chems, I uh, cleared out Fort Defiance of the Ghouls because I, I noticed I heard a Wendigo. And Wendigos always have screws, and you will always need screws. It was a match made in heaven. But uh, the thing with a lot of... Whenever you can get a whole lot of um, ghouls together, they have a high chance of spawning as chem heads. So if you're like me and like to keep your nose clean, it's a lot of caps. But now that you've found the train station, go on past the uh, high school. And you're just going to keep heading towards the signal. Now when you're in the Cranberry Bog, you'll notice this uh, interesting looking flora. It's a giant pitcher plant. If you can, when it first opens up, it's going to release some gas if you don't get the goo out of it first. But the goo is used in making a lot of chems, but it can also be turned into adhesive, I want to say. Maybe it's antiseptic. It's one of the two. Oh, cave cricket! It's a tough little bugger, but they're worth the acid that comes with them. Did he actually get the cricket? Oh. Now, if you want to, before you actually find the uh, signal, head over. Because the Cranberry Bog has so many different um, Brotherhood of Steel and Army outposts. And most of them are spawn points for power armor. Actually, I think this is where we're supposed to be. It's at least along the list of... I do believe. Okay then. I did not hear that someone was uh, charged to blow. Is it just me or... Did that Scorch Beast look legendary? I, I knew it. Alright, but the transponder is here. So sync it up. You can replay the last transmission. There's more T-51 and level 50. 
I'm I'm getting so lucky today. It makes me kind of sad that I'm not gonna settle on the T series anything. With a shovel? Who did you tick off? Such detailed shell casings. I don't think I have a tan suit yet. How's that thing not seen me yet? I'm in big yellow armor. I mean, you think it at least would have heard me. It's a bat. Um... I always forget to read my plans. Okay, well, you going to see me now, so... Let's do the thing. Oh, he's going to run? These things are such a pain to fight. They really are. But, challenge accepted. Ah, hey, there's his cronies. Every Scorched Beast will call in Scorched, and they will continue to do it. It's a repetitive thing. There he goes, carpet bombing with gas. Guess he's never heard of Geneva. Things usually more accurate than that. You come on, land for me, would you? Where's who's? But you can see why I told you to take the fireproof, because these explosive attacks are ridiculous. And there's more? Who's still shooting at me? Oh, who figures? Yeesh! They multiplied out of nowheres. And the one thing that really stinks about the Cranberry Bog is there are so many different uh, crevices and ruts that you can get stuck in and fall down into, so try your best to stay aware of your uh, footing. I say try, it's not easy at all and why'd you even land that was like not even enough to do nothing I think he's taunting me now I see you can fly hoo hoo alright and super make sure that you never fall into one of the fisher sites themselves it is instant death like no no joke oh come on I see you why can't I take you But as you can see, even with the excavator armor, and there's another Scorch Beast. You know what? I'm not wasting my ammo on you. We are just going to move on with what we was doing. But the Fisher Sites are one of the few... Ow. One of the few places 
that you can mine ultracite from. Uh, we're heading to another one of those places, as a matter of fact. Now, if you were crazy or powerful or both, um, then you can camp out down here. I give kudos to anybody who does, but I, I feel like I picked a comfortable spot myself. Is this a fresh crash? What are you still doing here? Uh-huh. Yeah, but if you don't get your digested goo within the time limit of them opening, I'm not entirely sure how long of a cooldown it is, but... Alright, I need to head to here. I'm getting lost. I know it's one of these bunkers. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so you're looking for one of these bunkers. Uh, more scorched, eh? So, sync up. You can listen to the last round's mission. Fence. Now, I've seen several public events in this video pop up that would be really good to do, but I'm just trying to get through the storyline before I start hopping around and doing those things. I encourage you... Really? Two-star legendary? I'm not taking that out right now. But I highly encourage you to go tackle everything that you think you can handle. Or if you see... Uh, any of them that you've done pop up that you like, just go go right ahead. Um, sometimes there's power armor in here. But I'm gonna scavenge around in here because, yep, stealth boy. Might be useful at this point in time. With all them big bad beasties outside. Nice, but is there a workbench to scrap with? No. There's someone, or... We want to get in here. I saw a mini-nuke. They are valuable. A lot of players will pay caps for them if they're in your, uh... Hey, fusion core as well. Where'd it go? Oh, no. Come on. Oh, there it is. He's just going to gas me out. That's actually a smart tactic, but... Normally, I don't bother... But, Stealth Boy time. Binoculars. Oop, nope. Military ammo bags are highly sought after because of the ballistic fiber scrap you can get from them. And now we are heading into, I think it's like the glass mine or glass cavern or something like that. And they just don't last long enough. Now, when you take the perks for it and then go get the uh, Enclave model, I'm just running. That is when stealth boys become worth it. But let's just go ahead and get underground. Given enough time and enough ammo, we could have handled all that. But I don't want to drag on the video like that, and I'm not sure I have enough ammo. What? At least I'm being honest. 
So now, uh, this is kind of a longish. It's going to be a long video. I'm sorry if it's two parts, but. Um, I say it's long-ish because I, I do believe this is one of those caverns that it's it's a, uh, a loop. But it also has a whole lot of um, ultra sight that you can mine. And by the end of this a whole um, brotherhood leg of the storyline, we are going to end up with the ultra sight power armor. Which is one of the reasons you're going to need all the scrap to make the, uh, or yeah, find all the ore to make the scrap. Because it's pricey to keep that um, repaired or to even make it is worse. But Ultrasight is one of the best that you can get. Um, I do believe the frame can only be generated with level 50 equipments. So it is worth it. It's usually my I need uh, bigger boat armor. But, am I stuck on a loading screen? Did it freeze? Was it mad at me for running away from all the enemies? Yeah, I think I'm stuck in a loading screen. So... Hopefully you found my cowardice entertaining and informative, and I'll just catch you in the next one. Peace.